fellow language learning nerds, welcome to another video. A new video in my series where I talk about um, Japanese books that I own. I call it uh, my Japanese bookshelf, even though it is a metaphorical bookshelf, but just... let's not pay attention to that. <laughs> now, usually I like to introduce you to uh, a book that's either written in Japanese or a book that's aimed to teach you Japanese. And today's book is one of the ones that aims to teach you Japanese. Now usually I like to try and find a way in which these books might be helpful to you. Why would I recommend it to you? What is what is it aiming to do? What use might you get out of it? Today's book <laughs> I don't recommend. Unlike the others, <laughs> I don't recommend this one. Um, but it is uh, quite you a uh, little bit unique and I still really really wanted to show it to you um, why um, you may be asking well allow me to introduce you to Japanese self talk oh. <coughs> sorry excuse me excuse me <coughs> Japanese self taught in Roman characters by the natural method with phonetic phonetic pronunciation thims system now why am I talking in this silly old-timey voice <laughs> Well, it's because this book was written over a hundred years ago, 1907. <laughs> uh, yes, I have a book aiming to teach you Japanese written 1907. So to try and put that into a little bit of context, <laughs> um, Queen Victoria has uh, passed away only six years ago and it's still another uh, five years until the Titanic will sink. And that's where this book comes in. <laughs> As you can see, it has quite a nice, uh, nice little look to it. Like an old, like you'd you think you'd find this in like an old library where it has all those posh looking books or so. Um, and it's only a little thing. It turns out uh, it's more like a, um, a phrase book, really. Because when you actually open it up, and have a little look inside. The majority of the first part of it is vocabulary divided into different categories. And then the last maybe quarter part of the book is some phrases that they think you might find useful on your travels. Now, <laughs> it might be uh, good to think about who might be actually using a book like this because in 1907 your visitors to Japan were going to be a slightly different than they are today and that is reflected in some of the topics that they've chosen to cover in here. So there are topics as well as things like health and food and drink, things that you would imagine everyone traveling to Japan might need to use that sort of vocabulary. Uh, we also have things like religion. <laughs> in case you are going to Japan uh, to spread your religion there. You might need to know words such as clergyman, the Holy Spirit, a hymn, or perhaps you are a merchant uh, heading to Japan to sell and buy goods, in which case you might need things like a contract, export, exchange, insurance company, dividend, <laughs> Or you might be from the army or the navy, in which case, don't worry, this old-timey book has you covered. <laughs> With words like campaign, discipline, dismount, court-martial. So yeah, this phrase book um, from the early 1900s really kind of gives you a little insight into the type of travellers who were most common going to and from Japan. Um, I do think that's really interesting. Um, another thing that I find really interesting is the phrases. Now, I took this book into my class one day and showed it to my teacher, to which she assures me that the Japanese in this is a bit weird and no one talks like this anymore. And I 100% believe her because I'm about to tell you some phrases that are written in English. <laughs> it's what inspired me to do a silly British voice. <laughs> Now, don't worry, this book has you covered when you need to express yourself. Let's see some of the phrases that you may need. <laughs> I haven't the slightest idea. Excuse me for having inconvenienced you. <gasps> How can you say such a thing? It was jolly. I should never think of saying such a thing. 
you had better hold your tongue. Insolent fellow! And here's a few phrases that I have found that I think will suit you very well if you are not just a old-timey Brit, but an old-timey evil villain Brit. You have my strict orders. It commences at half past one. I trust you will honour me with your continued friendship. That last one gives me, I am altering the deal, pray I don't alter it any further, vibes. <laughs> I don't recommend it in that I don't think it will help you uh, learn Japanese, but by all means do track it down if, to, if you want to just take it off the shelf every now and again and give it to your friends if they're either Japanese or learning Japanese or just find old-timey language funny. <laughs> Um, then it's a good thing to be able to take out and everyone can have a good laugh about it. Um, yeah. I just, yeah, you know what, I will leave the ISBN of the book in the description below. So if you do want to try and tr track down your own version, definitely feel free. But yeah, that is self-taught, <laughs> Japanese self-taught in Roman characters by the natural method with phonetic pronunciation, thims system. <laughs> And you may think that I probably found this when rummaging around an old secondhand bookshop or something. No, I, I used to work in a bookshop, right? And I had been looking up uh, Japanese textbooks to see if I could see any new textbooks that I didn't already own. Maybe there was something else because I just liked buying textbooks and I still do. I have to resist buying too much. And I found this one listed on the system and I was just able to order it. Just order it. It's still in publication today. Who's, how is this still in publication? Who's actually using this to do, is it just people like me who are just buying it and being like, tee -hee, tee -hee, tee -hee. maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what's sustaining it after all this time. Uh, uh, I don't know. I hope you enjoyed uh, learning about this book as much as I did when I discovered it. <laughs> Thank you so much to listening to me go on about this. Uh, and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Uh, so yeah, so then for now, may your grammar be structured and your vocabulary varied. And I'll see you next time. Bye!